Okay, so I tend to leave it in up mode for this and just let it do its thing according to the step order I've put in here. I want it to go first note in the first little quantize of the arpeggiation. I want it to then play the second one, then the third, then the fourth. Or I want it to play one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two. I'm telling it to play that order in these eight steps, yeah? So it's going to play one, then jump up here for this step and play the fourth, then the third, then the second, then the one, then the fourth, then the third, then the second, and it'll do that. So you get this. So let's see how we can use this to make, like, say, to, to make easy light work of playing like a classic trance pattern. Now, normally, let's say I wanted to make this your, your classic little trancey thing. I'd set my quantize to something short and stabby, like 30 seconds uh, for my length, and I set my quantize to 16th, so every note will drop, I've got the chance to put it in on the 16th grid. And I would do this. I'd start with the root, then I go up a second to there, then I go up a my, oops, but on the next step, the next 16th there, then my third 16th, I'd go up to a minor third, let me put the um, acoustic feedback thing on so you can hear them going in. Then I'm going to go up from the minor third up um, to, let's see, the root is here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the seventh and put the seventh in as the fourth step. And I get this. Yeah? Then I've got to get hold of this and copy it copy them over and then I've got to copy them again then I've got to copy them again and I get this pattern like your kind of classic goa trance pattern well that's putting all these little individual notes in what I can do is just set this to uh, a full bar length for the quantized length and just put in my root uh, with the pencil tool just put in my root my second my third and my seventh and let the arpeggiator do the stepping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it'll do it. Because my order here is set to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this is what I get. Ah, but this is a sixteenth. And we've let the notes last for a full 16th, and we only have eight steps in our play order. So remember what you've got to do. You've just got to grab those four notes, set the length to half a bar, drag them back to only half a bar length, and then copy, copy them over. And now this eight-step cycle will play through and then re-trigger and play through again. And we get the classic pattern, but from only putting in these whole notes. You know, it's much easier. And if we want to raise the third note in the sequence, we don't have to grab all those little notes that were sitting on the individual positions. We just grab. Oh, let me take the speaker off. Grab those two notes like that and push them up a semitone, and we've pushed up all of them in the arpeggiation on of that note, yeah, to a major third, okay, or up a fourth, like to there, yeah. I'll drop that back down to a minor third. Okay, so with something as easy as that, just some straight notes being played in, I can now go back to my arrange page, grab this, drag it across, copy it once. Let me set this to whole bars, so when I snap it, it snaps to the bar. I've copied it four times. Open that up to four, so I've got four bars <coughs> in my pattern. Now this is playing this pattern. If I go into the third pattern and just grab the third, which is a minor third, and push it up to a major third, like that, then the pattern does this as it goes along. Yeah? Okay, that doesn't sound very good. Let's put that one back down. Let's grab the top note here on the G and push it up to G sharp and see what that does. Here we go. sounding a bit more kind of familiar isn't it let's just zoom in depth 
a little bit so we can see. See that little note being pushed up there in that pattern? So I'll do it again, grab those two top notes and just push them up a semitone. And now when you play it back, you've got your kind of classic goery pattern. Okay, it doesn't sound like the right kind of sound, but if I just open my VST instruments and just open the A1 with the edit button there and just roll the filter off and just increase the decay on the filter, just a fraction like that, and then just lower my decay on my, my sustain rather, on, on the actual amplifier envelope, so it's just making, making the sound of the synth sound just a little bit more staccato. Now, with a different sound, yeah, we've got your kind of classic goery pattern. Um, if I delete these drum patterns and go into just this one, and take off this odd kick drum, put it so it's got a four on the floor kick. Just zoom into that pattern, yeah. Move the arpeggiator. So we've got a four on the floor kick now. Take out the snare, leave the clap in on the two and the four. And then if I look at my closed hi hat here and I change the con uh, the um, quantize to 16th, I'll just put in one hi hat every 16th so we get more of a t -t 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 pattern. And then down here at the bottom, because this row's highlighted, I'm looking at the velocity down here. See that? Velocity, yeah. And I'll lower every other hi hat. So it's just not quite so robotic. And now the pattern sounds like this with the drums. Now I just bump the tempo up to something kind of trancey. I mean, look, this is not going to sound like authentic trance, but you get the idea. Yeah, and then copy this over one, two, three times. So we've got the whole thing. And now it's kind of sounding a bit more like it. But I'll tell you what we could do. If I go into my VST instrument folder here, okay, select the A1, uh, open that up and select the second A1 in the list, not the first one, but this one. That opens then my A1 mixer channel in the inspector column here. And if I go into the sends here, I can uh, put a send out to a, um, a plugin like a reverb to make that synthy sound more spacey. But first I need to add in a reverb okay as a send in, uh, send effect so in this um, track header column here I right click add effects channel track choose my plugin I'm going to go for the hang on let me move that up so you can actually see the list I'm going to choose reverb just the crappy standard Cubase SX reverb which let's face it isn't very good now when your plugin effect appears, again like with the plugin instruments and anything else that pops up in Cubase, go to the blue background the panel here, right click, make sure it's always on top. Okay, now I'm going to choose a, diff a sound, um, I don't know what large is, but let's try it. And then I, that's the reverb that's added now. So I can now go back to my VST instruments, go and open up my A1 channel, go to my sends here, and in this black first send slot, I'll select the reverb, switch on the send, and turn up. So I'm sending some of the A1 synth out to the reverb. And it sounds a bit, it'll be in a bit of reverb now and sound a bit spacier. Let's drop that tempo a bit to 136 or something. Okay, let's hear that. This um, Orion thing, which is probably a long, long, long reverb. Let's try that. Yeah, it's a bit ringy, that, and it? it's really awful. The reverb in Cubase. <laughs> 